Well, here's my 1946 Gefillin radio. The old bus has a lot of radios, and I've decided to uh, call the herd, as they say, and uh, get rid of some of them. And I decided to give this radio away in a contest. Now, I made a series on this radio. You may remember. You are because of all of these other things. You, you're, you That's just... right. And I hope they get to finish out the season. Right. Sure, how, how does vitamin C help with that? Well, a lot going on. There's a lot of data that we... It works pretty good. So I'm going to let Tickle F. Lockett tell you all the details. Hello, folks. Tickle F. Lockett here. Here's your chance to win a genuine Buzz 1151 restored radio that was featured on his channel this year. Here are the rules. Number one, you must be a subscriber. Number two, you must live in the United States of America. Number three, you must be a fan of Buzz, but most importantly, me, yours truly, Tickle F. Flockett. <laughs> Number four, you are forbidden to sell this radio. If caught, I will personally send Knuckles McGurk over to rough you up. Number five, you will have three weeks to enter. Just comment on this video and say, I'm in. That's it. On Buzz's next video, we will select a winner. Don't miss this opportunity to own this classic 1946 Gefillin radio, personally restored by Buzz 1151 with loving care. So don't delay. Enter today. I thank you. Well, here's old Buzz 1151 back again with another video. Here's Buzz's latest acquisition. I bought this locally at a garage sale. Pretty neat, huh? And I paid five bucks for it. Now the guy said he didn't know if it worked because he didn't have any adapter to plug it in with. It takes one of those wall warts. But this is one of those uh, talking house radio transmitters that you can use to broadcast to your old radios. Hey, pretty nifty, huh? And uh, since it was only five bucks, I figured maybe I could fix it. If not, it's only five bucks. Easy come, easy go. So this is where you adjust the frequency. I don't know what this is or this is, but let's take a look at the bottom. There's a sticker on there. Maybe we can find out more about it. Here's the model of this. It's a TH4-6 AM transmitter, 520 to 1700 kilohertz, 120 volts AC slash 18 volts DC. Manufactured in China. Yeah, 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 China. Exclusively for Radio Technologies LLC in Glenville, Illinois. There's no date on it, so I don't know how old this is. Okay, there's the back panel. First thing, we'll start on the left here. There's a little thing for an antenna. Mm -hmm. And this thing is called Control Lock, Remove Key to Prevent Changes to Message or Frequency. Oh. Antenna select. We have basic and outdoor. Mm -hmm. And next to that is outdoor antenna connect. So this looks like this is the outdoor one. And this is selected to basic. So this is probably the basic. Brilliant. Now this here says uh, backup microphone. Speak into vent on cabinet top. <laughs> so there must be a microphone in here. Two part message select, part one or part two. You got line input. 
500 millivolts slash 10K with a GC. There's a mic plug. So check it out, Mikey. Here's the power. Input 120 volts and output, I guess, 18 volt DC. Here's a uh, speaker volume. This up here says transmit mode switch message chip or live radio. It's Greek to me. This here is where the speaker is. Mm -hmm. And this says five minutes. Whatever that means. Okay, I got the screws off. All right. There it is. TH 4.6. Looks pretty clean in there. So, I guess the first thing I need to do is find a, a DC source here so I can plug this in and see if it works. Let me dig around and see if I can find anything. Alright, I couldn't find an 18 volt DC, but I did find a, uh, a universal AC adapter. And this goes up to 12 volts. So let's just plug in 12 volts and see if we get anything out of it. So let's plug it in and try it. <laughs> What's good about uh, this thing is it's got different sized plugs. So it looks like this one will work in it. Let's see if this is working. I uh, got something on the screen. Keep going. I'm kind of curious as to how this works. Nothing happening on the selection there. It's got, uh, it says C-A-L on it. I don't know what that is. I'm going to go search on the internet if I can find out anything about this. Maybe get something like a schematic or something for it. Since it's made in China, I highly doubt that there's any information on this, but uh, I'll take a look and come back if I find anything. Okay. Well, I did find a manual for it. Wow. Talking House. Talking Houses Just Sell Faster. Instructions Manual. Here. Uh, <laughs> See, we got a quick start here. Now, I've been reading through this. Amazing. Before, when it said that C A L, that was a, a calibration. When you first plug it in, it calibrates itself. Oh. So, it's not flashing that anymore. But I still can't. Select the frequency on it. Dinette area. Oh. <laughs> the hardwood floors continue through into the formal dining room, which has a special double tray ceiling with accent light. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy cow. And that's the message that's been recorded on it. Additional laundry room on the first floor, all with ceramic tiles, flooring, and birch, extra wide base trim throughout, along with the nine foot ceiling. Can't believe it's working. On the main level. Upstairs is the master bedroom that features a cathedral ceiling. It also has a walk-in closet. There's a master spa that has a cornered whirlpool tub and an oversized shower and double vanity with ceramic tile floor. There are three other generous. You see these things, from what I gather online, these things were put in the houses that were on sale and the real estate agent would hook this up and put a sign out front to tune your radio, your car radio, to a certain frequency. And then you could find out all about the house. So that's why it's called a talking house transmitter, which is a pretty neat idea. Yes. To finish off in the future. This home is sitting on just under an acre Spot and has septic and well for its utilities. 
price I just saw, 564900 This home is priced well below what it would cost today. That's yeah, only 500000 I think I'll buy it. Well, this is looking good here. It's working, except I gotta figure out how to set this. If I can get this thing working and tested, that would be great. After more reading, I found out this, uh, this control lock, which plugs into here, has got a switch on it, and it says uh, the, this key must be completely inserted to record messages and set the frequency of the transmitter. So you have to have that plugged in there and turned on. It's nothing but a jack here. So I got a jack here, and what I did was I just soldered uh, two of the connectors here, because if this thing had like a little switch on it, he's just flipping it on or off. Let me plug it in. Plug it in, Joe. We'll see what happens. Let's turn it around. Hey, it's moving. Yay! I'm going to set this for around uh, 50 making a noise in there. Did you hear anything? I thought it did. Making a clicking noise. So the instructions say you're just supposed to set the frequency and then, it, then you get that calibration Thing on the screen and it's supposed to calibrate it. It's making a noise again. Whoa. That's moving. Look at that. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel, Andy. Look at that. Is that cool or what? Cool. Did it stop calibrating? No, it's still calibrating. It stopped. You think maybe it's uh, ready to transmit? Well, I made up a little cable here. I just patched it together pretty sloppily. But this would probably work. So I'm going to stick one end into the line input and the other end to the headphone jack of the computer. Now the book said to uh, move this switch over to live radio. So let's turn it around. So I'm just going to use a transistor radio here. I got this from I'm a junk collector a long time ago. Hello. Thanks, Don. It works. Good. So if this works, if I tune into 1330 on here, and if it's working right, we should be able to pick this up here. Now I got my computer set for a, a God Lombardo medley. Wonderful. Let me turn this on. Now I'm going to turn the sound on the computer on just to make sure it's working. Okay, it's playing. So, let's see if we can pick that up over here. This is about a thousand. Oh!
Wow. Kind of sounds a little scratchy there. Actually, it sounds pretty good. Let me get a tube radio and try it. Well, I got the old Buzzline radio out. Some of you may remember this. This was the radio that uh, did not have a chassis. I had to make a chassis from scratch. Buzzline. Quality goes in before the name goes on. Pretty neat, huh? You can watch that video series on my channel if you want to. It's called Making a Chassis for 1937 Airline Radio. Let's turn it on. You want to tune it to 1330. Stories from James o and Charlie Kirk coming up. There it is. Sounds pretty good. You know, I was just thinking, I've got this running on just 12 volts when the specs say it's supposed to be 18. So I wonder how much better it would be if I had 18 volts on there. Okay, since this is set for 1330, I've got some strong stations around that area, especially around 1360. Let's see if we can set this higher. We'll try 1500. Says calibration. Look, it's moving. That is so cool. Cool. Is it done? Look, it stopped. Okay. And uh, we'll go to fifteen hundred since. That's set for 1500. It makes sense.
sounds a little tinny. Okay, I looked at a video on YouTube, and this guy has the same model as this one, and his sounded kind of tinny too. So he put a capacitor in series with this one right here. This is a C301, it's a .01. And he said uh, you can start putting uh, like a 0.015 in parallel with it and see if that increases the uh, the bass on it. So let's try that, huh? It's paradise to be near you like this Because of you My life is now worthwhile and I can smile See the difference? That sounds better. Let me solder that in there and we'll, we'll experiment some more. Okay, there it is. Let's see what it sounds like. Much better. So this is a point oh two two and the original is a point oh one. So we got a total of point oh three three. I can live with that. So I've got the transmitter all buttoned up. I added a switch to it. I always like to have a power switch on it because that's just the way I am. Anyway, don't forget to enter the contest. This could be all yours, this 1946 Gafillion. Let's see how the transmitter sounds. So old Blue Eyes singing. Well, this is Buzz 1151. Hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit different. So I got a new project coming up in a few weeks. So look forward to that. So let's uh, let old Blue Eyes take us out. Thank you, everybody. You can sleep late. Give me five minutes more. Only five minutes more. Let me stay. Let me stay in your arms. Ah.